Hi, my name is Malcolm Collum. I'm the Chief Conservator at the National Air and Space Museum, and I'm standing in front of a 1945 Curtis SB2C-5 Helldiver. The Helldiver is in the Mary Baker Engen Restoration Hangar at the Udvarhazy Center, and today we're going to talk a little bit about the principles of restoration at the Air and Space Museum. Every single aircraft that you see out on the museum floor has come through the restoration shop to receive some varying degree of preparation before it goes on display. For every restoration at the Air and Space Museum, we bring together four different teams of experts. And these include the curatorial staff, the archive staff, conservation scientists, and the restoration specialists that you see down on the floor below you. The conservation scientists treat every restoration project sort of like an archaeological excavation. We use modern day analytical techniques to delve deep into the history of every artifact and reveal details about its history that we didn't know before. And we utilize the latest preservation techniques to make sure that these artifacts last as long into the future as practical. The museum archive provides factory blueprints, technical manuals, and even logbooks from people who flew this particular airplane. The curator, who's a historian for this particular airplane, also acts as the overall project manager to make sure that all four teams of experts work together. And there's the restoration team who perform all the hands-on work, and let's hear from them. My name is Matt Nazaro. I've been working for the National Air and Space Museum for over 25 years as a restoration specialist. Uh, normally when we deconstruct a object for restoration, some of us do drawings and notes to help us reassemble these uh, uh, artifacts accurately, and that's important because you're really changing history unless you put it back together accurately. And uh, these are just some examples of my drawings. Most people rely on uh, digital imagery. imagery. Um, we have a number of cameras here where we document everything, but I, I like to do both. It's helpful to me. Oftentimes we won't get back to a particular portion of an aircraft or object for a couple of years possibly. Some of these restorations can last five or more years. In, in the case of this airplane, we've made the decision as a group that we're going to not strip the paint entirely, but sand the existing paint, which is pretty sound, and paint over it. So I'm just making sure that I've gotten as much of the paint right around each individual rivet head sanded down as possible. I can't get all of it, but I can get it pretty well detailed. A lot of the things that I do is sheet metal fabrication. Now this right here is part of the missing bow. Since this was damaged, this, was, this whole section was completely missing here. So what I did was I used this form to bend a new bow in the correct shape. Now to be able to do this, this is thin wall tubing, it's 25 thousandths tubing. Now in order to bend this, what I do is I use a low temperature lead. It's called CeraBend. And then what I do, it, I plug one end up and I just fill this end up with the CeraBend. It pours just like water. And what that does is it supports the whole inside of the tube so it won't kink. So that way I can bend the tubing. And then when I'm done with the correct shape in area on this, which it is correct right now, what I'll do is I'll use a heat gun and just melt it all out of there and I have the whole tubing. The thing that we do here is it's all low tech because it's only one off. We don't have the luxury of building metal tooling for, for manufacturing all the parts that we need. So we use low tech plywood. This is a two piece tool. One for fabricating the shape that I needed for the radius and the other one here to be able to flatten the tubing out into the correct shape. Basically what I've been tasked with is uh, the curator Jeremy Kinney asked me to reproduce the emblem, the insignia for uh, the 92nd squadron that this hell diver was in and this is a representation of the battling beast, they called it, the insignia on the side of the aircraft. So basically, I took the dimensions of the glass, and from that and the picture, I was able to 
to mention the size of the insignia on the picture and turn it into a real size. I really feel this is a, a very strong archaeological, kind of a modern archaeology. I'm digging through things that people haven't seen or touched in a long time. Um, you know, and actually literally digging through some, some dirt, <laughs> finding dirt in, in crevices because this thing's been outside for a little while and uh, getting it cleaned up and, and uh, like I said, treating it for corrosion and, and getting things reinstalled. But so really just doing the job the best way possible. And that's what it takes to restore an aircraft in the National Air and Space Museum's collection. Be sure to come back again in the future to see what we're working on next.